In this video, we're going to go through the best way to decrystallize your honey when it crystallizes like this. There's a lot of ways to decrystallize honey, and there's a lot of wrong ways. I'm going to go through those as well. The first no-no is don't go above 140 degrees. If you do, you're going to denature all the enzymes that make honey so good for you. 104 or 105 degrees would be perfect if you can keep that type of calibration on your water. A lot of people use the microwave, and this is not a good idea because it's very inconsistent. Chances are, if you've tried it, you've actually melted the plastic on your honey bear. People use boiling water, and that's not a good idea because boiling water goes up to 212 degrees, which is way too hot for honey. We'll set some of this honey in this hot water now. Sometimes you can buy this crystallized honey for about 75% off. So this is about 60 cents for this honey bear. And you can see it's crystallized, but it won't be for long. Make sure the water is covering the entire bottle. You don't want to add any water to the honey. That'll just add contaminants. This has been sitting in the water for about five minutes and you can already see it's already starting to become decrystallized. It's starting to look like honey in there. We'll just keep it in there and keep it going slow. Have this crock pot on keep it warm. People, instead of using a crock pot, will use yogurt makers. That brings and keeps the temperature real nice. A lot of people think when this stuff crystallizes, the honey's gone bad, but that's not at all the case. In fact, you can eat this. This is absolutely wonderful. Some people like it like this. It's a slow process, but you can see as time goes on, the sugarization is starting to flow a lot better. If you want to keep the enzymes alive, you've got to go slow. About an hour later, you can see this is really coming along. So now the honey looks like honey again. So this is what it used to look like, all crystallized. Now it's honey. While the honey's a little warm, it'll run a little bit more, and then when it cools off, it'll be a little bit thicker, but it won't be crystallized. That's how you decrystallize honey.